here to tell you, follow your passion, or passion will shape your entire life, or are you passionate enough to go through, are completely inaccurate phrases. In fact, they're going to put you in much pain if you don't follow them precisely. Thus, I suggest that you never follow them, or else I suggest that you follow the smartest. Albert Einstein, when he said, I have no special talent. I'm only passionately curious. Just like that, shift your passion to curiosity. Because being curious comes before finding a passion. But why is that? It's because just like a pair of shoes that were trapped in a box throughout the shipping process, passion trapped you in a box. A box of, a box of undiverse professions, of unextraordinary people, and of typical thoughts. In fact, Cal Newport, a professor in the Department of Computer Science at Georgetown University, defines the passion trap as the more emphasis you place on finding work you love, the more unhappy you become when you don't love every minute of work you have. This can be explained by this example. After watching a styling show on TV, Nora fell in love with styling and decided to pursue it as a passion. She worked hard until she got the personal stylist job she dreamed of. Naturally, we would think that she would be dancing out of content. She loved her job, loved her clients, even her boss. But sadly, she wasn't. It's unfulfilling, she said. She then restarted the research of her life's work. See, Nora's story is the best example to illustrate the passion trap. To even what she thought of as a dream job turned into an imperfect reality. Unhappiness followed. Only if she was more curious and flexible with her choices, she might have found a better job that grants her happiness. Another reason as to why we should be more curious is uh, before we become passionate is that, is, that, is that passion, in terms of pursuing one path or one interest, makes people closed-minded, but curiosity makes people open-minded. See, the definition of the word open-minded, as defined by Oxford Dictionary, means willing to listen to, think about, or accept different ideas. And that is exactly the definition of curiosity. Now, if a person by an early age thinks that his or her passion is, let's say, biology, they will probably follow the seven steps of achieving the dream, and by step six, which is to work hard for it, they will put all their focus on it, regardless of their change of heart or their low grades in biology, or even this, their discovery that biology is not for them. See, some people choose to pursue passions because they're just passions, not taking into consideration other possibilities, and unfortunately, in their hated pursuit, become less curious. And that is how a person becomes close-minded to the different fields in life. Therefore, in order to be open-minded, especially with something that might change the course of your life, you must be curious. A third reason as to why we should be more curious before we become passionate about the field is that the world is changing at a fast pace that even our dreams and passions now won't be able to keep up with. What does that mean? I believe we all agree that we're not born knowing what our passion is, nor every single job that exists. LinkedIn also believes so. They stated that 85% of the jobs that will exist in 2030 haven't been invented yet. Now tell me, how can we just stick around in passion by an early age when we don't know what the future holds for new interests and fields? It's like designing a sewing dress today to be worn in five or six years. Do you think it will fit? This reminds me of when I was five. I wanted to be an Egyptian doctor. But after everyone questioned my weird desire to change my nationality, I then wanted to be an actress. Two years later, I wanted to be a scientist who would invent a machine that would help every single person on this planet. This dream lasted until I studied what a cell is and then completely hated science. In fifth grade, I wanted to be an Islamic teacher. Not until seventh grade when I wanted to be an English literature professor. And now, two years later, I'm interested in either, be, either being a lawyer or an architect, and God knows when I'll ever change those desires. Now, the solution for both me and you is to search and explore whatever this world holds from new interests and fields, from diverse fields, and then be able to judge what works best for us. So let's go, go search about the most interesting fields in life, try every single one of them, 
read books about them, watch documentaries about them. Let's take it seriously and call it the journey of curiosity. Did you ever try teaching? No? Then go teach, even if it seems hard. Did you ever try reading about history? No? Then go read, even if it seems serious. Did you ever try painting or playing tennis? Then what are you waiting for? Go try new things and explore this fascinating world and leave limits chilling on the other side of the road. Thank you.